good morning friends and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leonie and this channel is all about joyful, beautiful, mindful seasonal living. On this channel you'll find cozy seasonal British living, homemaking, books, hauls, mum life, cups of tea and everything in between. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, then hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss it. So many of you will have seen from some of my previous videos recently that I'm absolutely in love with the Port Marion Botanic Gardens design of um, pottery and china. So I've had the Port Marion Botanic Gardens set on my um, vision board forever, just forever. Um, I absolutely adore it. The designs are superb but they are pricey. So I have been picking up a few bits and pieces here and there when I see them at charity shops um, and picking up a few pieces online just to sort of start myself going. And that is how I acquired my tea service that you would have seen in uh, some of the previous spring videos. For those of you who are not familiar with the designs, they were created in 1972 by Susan Williams Ellis after she was inspired by an antique book selection that she found featuring botanical prints and she designed this, this this set and it has become one of the most iconic British tableware sets. It is used and collected the world over and I completely and totally understand why. Which leads me on to my latest little bit of news. So my <laughs> my auntie is my best friend, um, we're, we're very similar in age. And she's my best friend and we were chatting about it on WhatsApp one day and I showed her, I said, oh gosh, look, I've, you know, I've just found a vase, this on this design and I absolutely adore it. It's called Port Marion Botanic Gardens and I'm collecting the pieces and I'm hoping to have a dinner service, etc." So she said, oh, well, I'll look out in some charity shops, you know, if I've come across anything, I'll let you know. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, did she hit the mother load uh, a few weeks ago. She walked into a charity shop and my uncle said she was just hopping up and down. She was so excited. <laughs> she found just the most incredible haul. So she she was telling the kids, just <laughs> my cousins, get it onto the counter. Quick, quick, before someone else grabs it. So yesterday she came over for tea and she brought this incredible incredible haul and I wanted to share it with you today. I am so excited. I just blown away. These items are absolutely exquisite and the best part is they're all dishwasher safe, microwave safe and freezer safe. Guys, I have absolutely been spoiled rotten and I'm about to show you everything she brought me. Look at all of it. There is just so much. I'm not even sure where to start. Uh, okay, let's start with the dinner plates. Now, there are four dinner plates and they all have this gorgeous laurel leaf design around the edges. There are two peony plates, peonies, peonies, two peony plates, but they're all, um, there were some different designs here. Now, they're Port Marion designs, you'll notice. There are lots of different ones. So you can have a whole set of peonies. You can have a whole set of lilacs, or you can mix and match and have your own sort of garden inspired table. Now, I like the idea of having a garden inspired sort of table. So I've got two plates here that are peonies. So there were two peonies. Now you can just tell how beautiful these designs are. I mean, it doesn't even do them justice on camera. Look at the butterflies. And this must be a dragonfly, but just look at the incredible details on each one of these plates. I mean, they are just a work of art. Just a work of art. So I've got two peony plates. And then there's also the Latin name as well, which is lovely. I've got, oh, that one's still got a bit of a sticker on. I've got one chrysanthemum, which is just so pretty. And just the shading on all the, the backs of the leaves. And I mean, it's just so pretty. And it really does feel like eating in a flower garden. So there's that one, the chrysanthemum. And then 
there's this, the blue passion flower. Now, I've never seen a blue passion flower. And I mean, just look how stunning it is. Just the stamens and the stigmas and the inside of the plants are just incredible. So beautifully detailed. You can even see it looks like, <laughs> it looks like that leaf's been a bit eaten by some of the caterpillars. How incredible. So, that, those are the dinner plates. Now they're quite large. I'll show you the side plates in comparison. So my auntie got, um, there was three side plates, so I'll have to look at collecting enough um, to make up um, four of each of everything. But I've got four of most things. But look at this one. This is the amaryllis, or the belladonna lily. I didn't even know such a pretty flower existed. It looks like some kind of Christmas candy cane flower. How beautiful. Okay, you can see the stickers there. <laughs> Part of the sticker from the charity shop. But how beautiful. These all have to go through the dishwasher. But just look how pretty that looks with the pattern. So if you had to sit this up at a dinner table, how pretty would that look with the, the side plate on the top or even a salad on here and then there's your dinner plate at the bottom. How pretty. So there we've got the Bella Donna Lily. Then we've got the Oriental, uh, the Eastern hy Hyacinth or the Oriental Hyacinth. Look at that beautiful sign. I mean, it's just exquisite. And the last one is a Dianthus. Now, Dianthus are just so pretty, or Sweet Williams, as they're also known. My husband sometimes brings me Sweet Williams, and I love them. And I mean, even just the designs here, each one of these is just exquisitely done, and the colouring is just so pretty. And I love that there are butterflies and moths on here as well, because it just sort of fills in those little white, sp white spaces. And it just makes you think of, of what it would be like in, in a garden, you know. Such beautiful flowers always bring out bees and butterflies. Just so lovely. So let's move these out the way. And we will move on to the pasta plates. Yes, there are pasta plates. Pasta bowls, sorry. Look at this. This is the garden lilac. Now, I have lilacs growing in my garden and I absolutely adore them. But just look at the shading and the detail. Aren't they exquisite? Again, we have the laurel pattern going around the edge. This one is a dog rose. Look at the bee, big fat fuzzy butt that we call, like we call them here. <laughs> the big um, bumblebee and a moth there or a butterfly. How pretty. Another hyacinth, the same hyacinth as the plate. And then another Sweet William. So you probably find that I'm on my way to having one set of each of a plate, a bowl, a, um, and a side plate. But uh, do you know what? I really don't mind what pattern they are because they're just so pretty. Next, we're moving on to the cereal bowls. Now, this is a flower called a speedwell. I've never really heard of that, but it is a Veronica Chimadris. That's the Latin name. I mean, how gorgeous. I wish I could find these in the wild. I actually, I'm going to go and look for them, to be fair. When I go on my walks, hopefully I can find some. And then we have a cyclamen. Now, I have a vase that I found in a charity shop that has got the cyclamen pattern on. But look at this fella here. Isn't he pretty? And the little ladybug. Oh my gosh, how cute. And next, there is the forget-me-not. I've got some of these growing up by my car, actually. And look at this. I mean, there's a ladybug in flight. How pretty and how just, just exquisitely detailed. I mean, you can even see the tiny little... Oh. You can even see the tiny little hairs on the forget-me-nots. How beautiful. And then we have a rhododendron. 
just those the dark pink and the lighter pink is just so pretty three of these bowls now one of these bowls I found in one of um, my charity shops and these two on the top my aunt found now if you look at the outside you'll notice that the outside has violas I think those are violas because it doesn't really say on the outside but on the inside look at the narcissus how beautiful is that and the details on that butterfly are just incredible so there's two of those now this one you'll notice has got rhododendrons on it and then look at the honeysuckle on the inside so much beautiful detail I mean can you believe we found all of this well, my aunt did. She found three coffee cups, coffee mugs. Now, these coffee mugs are double-sided. So, have a look at this. So, in the front here, you have this milkwort flower. Now, I didn't even know this existed, but how beautiful is this flower? Little clusters of flowers like that and a little yellow butterfly. How stunning. But, wait until you see the back. So the back has its own design. So if you're holding your mug, you know, you're holding your mug, this is what you see when you're drinking and people who are looking, talking to you, see that beautiful butterfly. And as you can see, here's the bottom of each of them. Port Marion. So then next we have the daisy, one of my favourites. Again, there is a beautiful ladybird in flight. And here's a beetle I've not seen before. He's pretty. And then on the back, another stunning butterfly. I and mean, if you know the name of these butterflies, leave them in the comments down below. How beautiful. I just love the blue. And then the last one is again a cyclamen with that beautiful little ladybird there and that lacy winged little fellow over there as well and then we have this beautiful whether that's a butterfly or a moth I'll never know but how stunning is that just the details on it are just incredible we move on to the coffee set now there are six of these I've got one in the dishwasher because I've had coffee in it this morning but these are substantial now that fits um, a 350 ml coffee from my coffee machine so that is quite a large a decent sized cup it is a mug size cup which is fantastic because I don't like a small coffee in the morning so you can see it's quite a large plate you could probably even use these for cake plates to be fair if you really wanted to um, with the tea set um, which is great because they're kind of multi-purpose so there's six of these this one is the rhododendron and you can see the design goes all the way around I mean they really don't skimp on the design for these and just do a design on half the cup it really goes all the way around and so pretty so let's see what other ones we've got here so there are one rhododendron uh, one of the Veronica again more butterflies there how pretty that yellow one is just so vivid then we've got a speedwell again now speedwell and Veronica are the same thing aren't they oh yeah so then we've got a forget-me-not. Now, I believe the other one I've got that's in the dishwasher is also forget-me-not. But how pretty. The pink and the blue together are just so gorgeous. And I mean, that's a big mug. <laughs> that's a big cup. And then we have an another one here called hmm, Pimpernel. Now, I'm sure I've seen these flowers in... On my walks I just didn't know what they were called they called Pimpernel how beautiful I don't know about you but I love a good toast rack again with the laurel pattern around the bottom then on one side we have the cyclamen 
And then on the other side, we have the forget-me-nots. And again, with those beautiful little winged creatures. Little. They're just so beautiful. And again, you can see the little hairs on the plants. I mean, it's just incredibly done. Then we come to the salt and pepper set. Now, the salt cellar has got the cyclamen on it. But the pepper, I'm not quite sure what flower this is. If anyone knows what flower this is, let me know. Because it doesn't actually say on here. But it's just ever so pretty. Oh, it's full of... I filled it up with pepper this morning. It's full of pepper on the bottom. But that is just such a pretty flower. I wonder if it's like a dogwood or dogwood rose or something like that. So pretty. And, I mean, they're quite, they're quite unique, aren't they? Oh, I'm just throwing pepper all over the place. They're quite unique, aren't they? The sort of shape and the, the design. So pretty. She found the matching napkins in the same shop. In the same charity shop. Can you believe it? I mean, just how stunning are these? So all the names of the flowers. Clematis. So these are some designs that I don't even have online. It's the clematis there. Uh, there. Um, there's the Christmas rose, there's the, that must be from a rhododendron, peonies, Let's see if we can see more in here, because there's the more, more of the clematis, oh gosh, blue passion flower, we've got one of those haven't we? I mean, these are going to look so stunning. It just looks so pretty against this blue. I mean, this, gosh, looks so pretty against the screen as well. These next two items my auntie bought separately because she's a cheeky, cheeky minx and she knows it. <laughs> but she had to get me this cake plate because it's a Christmas rose. Look, you guys know how much I love Christmas. But just look at it, the beautiful, beautiful flowers on this. I didn't even know there was such a thing called a Christmas rose. It's so stunning. Can you imagine a lovely Victoria sponge on here? And then you've got your cake knife to cut it with. I think that is the rhododendron again. I'm trying to zoom in on that. How beautiful is that? Friends, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below and tell me what is your favorite design from the video. Or leave me a comment and tell me what kind of china or pottery you collect and why. I would love to have you subscribe to the channel. So if you can take a moment to do that, I would appreciate it. And leave a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up because it really does help out the channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.